Imagine two people walking past each other on Earth, one strolling leisurely, the other briskly pacing forward. At first glance, their different speeds seem trivial. But according to Einstein's theory of relativity, their movement isn't just changing how they experience time locally, it's actually shifting their perception of what is happening right now in distant parts of the universe, perhaps even in the Andromeda galaxy, over 2.5 million light years away. This is the essence of the Andromeda Paradox, a mind-bending consequence of relativity first pointed out by physicist Roger Penrose. It arises because special relativity tells us that there is no absolute present moment that everyone agrees on. Instead, what we call simultaneous depends on our motion. To understand this, consider the relativity of simultaneity, a core idea in special relativity. Suppose you and a friend are standing still relative to each other. If you both agree that a certain event is happening right now in Andromeda, perhaps an alien civilization is launching an interstellar fleet, then your shared present includes that event. But what if you start walking toward Andromeda because of how time and space are linked in relativity, your new now will slice through space-time differently, meaning that in your frame of reference, the alien fleet might not have launched yet. It might still be preparing. Meanwhile, if your friend walks in the opposite direction, their now could include the event where the fleet has already arrived at its target. So here's the paradox. If motion at ordinary human walking speeds already shifts the present moment of distant galaxies, what does this mean for our everyday understanding of time? Does Andromeda's history truly depend on whether we are standing still or moving? Could different observers genuinely disagree about whether an event 2.5 million light years away has already occurred? The resolution of the paradox lies in understanding that relativity does not allow instantaneous cause and effect across space. Even though different observers have different slices of now, they cannot influence the past or future in a way that leads to contradictions. The Andromeda paradox is not a violation of physics. It is a profound reminder that our intuition about time, built from local experiences, does not extend easily to cosmic scales. But this idea leads to even deeper questions. If every motion creates a different version of now across the universe, does an objective present even exist? If so, where? And could our own movement be subtly shifting the way we experience cosmic events without us even realizing it? According to Einstein's special relativity, simultaneity is not an absolute concept. What one observer perceives as happening now may be seen as occurring in the past or future by another observer in relative motion. This is because each observer's frame of reference has its own definition of simultaneity determined by their relative speed. The Andromeda paradox arises when an observer walking at a normal pace perceives a different present moment in Andromeda than a stationary observer. For example, two people standing still on Earth may agree on a distant supernova occurring at the same moment, but if one starts walking, their shifting reference frame could mean the explosion has either already happened or has yet to occur. This is like two people looking at a far off mountain. One person walking forward shifts their perspective slightly, making objects appear to move even though the mountain remains unchanged. Even at slow speeds like walking around 1m s, relativistic time dilation causes an imperceptibly small but theoretically real shift in what an observer considers now in Andromeda. Given the galaxy's sheer distance, 2.5 million light years, even an extremely tiny change in simultaneity at Earth translates to a difference of thousands of years in Andromeda. This means that by simply walking in one direction, a person could theoretically shift their present moment in Andromeda from before an intergalactic war begins to a time when it has already ended. For example, if one observer walks toward Andromeda while another stands still, their slight motion means they will consider Andromeda's timeline to be shifted by thousands of years, even though the difference on Earth is undetectable. This is like two people setting their watches to the same time but pressing start at slightly different moments over long distances, even a tiny discrepancy results in significant differences. The Andromeda paradox does not mean an observer can influence the past or future in Andromeda. 
Relativity only alters what an observer considers simultaneous, but causality remains intact. Events that are space-like, separated outside each other's light cones, cannot influence each other faster than the speed of light. This ensures that despite differing perceptions of now, the order of cause and effect remains preserved. For example, if an alien civilization in Andromeda starts a war today, we won't know about it for 2.5 million years because information cannot travel faster than light. Our perception of whether the war has already begun is relative, but the actual sequence of events is fixed. This is like a parade. Someone at the front sees the marching band first, while someone farther back sees it later, but the order of events does not change. In classical physics, simultaneity is absolute. Two distant observers can agree on events occurring at the same time. However, special relativity shows that simultaneity depends on the observer's motion. This means that for a person walking east, a certain event in Andromeda is in their present, but for someone walking west, that same event might be in their future. For example, two observers moving relative to each other will draw different slices through space-time, meaning their definitions of now for distant events diverge. This effect becomes extreme when speeds approach the speed of light. This is like slicing a loaf of bread diagonally instead of straight down. Each slice cuts through different parts of the loaf, just as different observers slice space-time differently depending on their motion. High-precision tests of special relativity, such as time dilation experiments with atomic clocks on fast-moving aircraft and satellites, confirm that simultaneity depends on motion. Observations of high-speed particles in cosmic rays also show that moving observers experience different time progressions. These experiments support the idea that simultaneity is relative, just as the Andromeda paradox suggests. For example, in GPS satellites, clocks tick slightly faster than those on Earth due to weaker gravity, and time adjustments must be made for synchronization. Demonstrating relativity in action. This is like watching a movie at normal speed while someone else watches it in slow motion. Both see the same film, but their experience of time within it is different. While the Andromeda paradox arises from special relativity, general relativity introduces further complications due to gravity. Gravitational time dilation means that observers at different altitudes or gravitational potentials also experience different perceptions of simultaneity, making defining a universal now across the universe even more problematic. For example, time runs slightly faster on the International Space Station than on Earth's surface, due to weaker gravity, altering simultaneity between astronauts and people on the ground. This is like a stretched rubber sheet. If one person presses down on it, gravity, their clock runs slower than someone standing on a flat part of the sheet. The Andromeda paradox forces us to question whether the universe has an objective now at all. Some physicists argue that the block universe model where past, present, and future all coexist as a four-dimensional structure, resolves the paradox by eliminating the need for simultaneity altogether. Others suggest that relativity only describes how we perceive time rather than defining a true nature of time itself. For example, the block universe view suggests that all events in history, past, and future already exist, and what we perceive as the present is just our current position within this structure. This is like a library containing every book ever written. While you can only read one page at a time, the entire book already exists. While the Andromeda paradox alters the perception of when an event occurs, it does not enable faster-than-light communication. However, if an advanced civilization could manipulate time dilation or warp space, they might exploit relativistic effects to extend their perception of simultaneity over vast distances. This would not violate causality, but could allow them to make strategic predictions. For example, in science fiction, some theoretical faster-than-light travel concepts, like the Alcubierre warp drive, involve manipulating the fabric of space-time to jump across simultaneity slices. This is like skipping ahead in a book while others read at normal speed. While you perceive future events earlier, you cannot change what happens in the story. Humans evolved to perceive time as a continuous flow, but relativity suggests that this is just an illusion created by our limited speed and 
sensory processing. If we could directly perceive relativistic simultaneity shifts, we would see distant galaxies not as fixed objects in space, but as dynamically shifting timelines. Our intuitive sense of now is simply a product of our biological constraints. For example, in extreme cases such as black hole event horizons, time perception changes so drastically that an external observer sees objects frozen in time while the object itself experiences normal flow. This is like watching a slow motion replay of a fast event. What looks instantaneous in real time appears stretched out when viewed differently.